Hey Canucks fans, the Canucks are back at practice with all of their COVID effective players back, so that's good news, and it's time for another edition of Ask Me Anything. I'm Canuck Clay, I'm the founder of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club. This is my Canucks take all in one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Sunday, December the 26th. If you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive, timely, and trustworthy. Help me get to that 8,500 sub mark by the end of this year. That would be kind of cool. And as always, this vlog is brought to you by Perform and Transform, personal training and weight loss. Sign up now for a free seven day trial using the link in my video descriptions. And by Van City Experts Real Estate Group, contact Jason Lim and his team for all of your real estate needs. Okay, you're gonna talk about the Canucks practice today, gonna do Ask Me Anything, but before that, allow me to do a 45 second commercial. You guys know that I've been training with Patrick at Perform and Transform for the last four months now, and he's just come out with a brand new program that's a 28 day program, one for men called the Strong Slim Down, and one for women called the, the Tight Tone. Both of them have the same thing, wonderful exercises, wonderful routines, and then meal planning, goal setting, all those kind of shopping lists, all these type of things. And this is about a $200 program that Patrick is offering for Boxing Day. For this week only, he's offering it for only $49.99, 50 bucks, basically 75% off. So for this week only, you can get these programs for 75% off, $50 only for this, this one month resource. I think it's, I think it's worth it. Um, you guys, have, I've talked about my results here. So if you're interested, I'll put the two links down below. There's a one link for men and one link for women. And again, you get 75% off his listed price of $200 for this program, which is even that alone is a deal, but to get it for only $50, I think it's worth it. So check it out if you want to head into the new year feeling good, looking good and doing all of those cool things. Okay, don't worry, I won't be doing that long of a commercial in every vlog just today and then I'll, I'll reference it going forward. Let's talk about the Canucks. They're back at practice today after they're off. I think they're off 22, 23, 24, 25. So they're off for four days, back at practice. And the good news is everyone that was in COVID protocol, guys like Pullman and Myers and Mott and Shen and Hunt, they're all back on the ice today, which is great. The only two players, well, actually three players missing, regulars, Travis Hamnick, who's still out with the lower body injury, Matthew Highmore, who's been out for a couple months now, it seems like, and then Brandon Sutter, who hasn't even played yet this year. So the way they lined up, pretty much what you'd expect, given that, remember, they're still coming off a six, this is like the longest six game win streak ever because they haven't played in about a week and a half. So they, they've won six straight, remember that? And they did it with basically these lines up front. You have Horvat between Dickinson and Hoglander, then you have Miller, Besser, and Pearson, the PPG line of Pedersen, Parkolzin, and Garland. And the fourth line, you have Lamico between Dowling and Mott with Di Giuseppe rotating in as well. So those are the 13 forwards. And then back, now you have, finally, you have your defense, you have your decor back, except for Hamnick. You had Hughes with Shen, Oyo with Myers, and then Burles with Hunt and Pullman. Uh, probably that's going to be Burles and Pullman with Hunt as the extra. So Di Giuseppe and Hunt will be the extras if this is the line, if this is the lineup that they go with over the next little bit. So you basically have your t top 12 minus, you know, minus Highmore. Uh, you probably bring in a Highmore for a uh, Dowling or Lamico if that was the case. And then you have your top six, except for you have no Hamnick. So if Hamnick comes in, then then Burles goes out. But that's who they have, the Canucks have practiced with today. And it was glad to, it was good to see them and hear about them back on the ice as well. By the way, have you seen all of the cameos that Bruce Boudreaux has been doing for fans? Cameo, you you know, pay for a, a message. It, they've been quite funny, actually. So if you're not on Twitter and you haven't seen those Boudreaux cameos, you are missing out. Okay, let's talk. Let's do some Ask Me Anything. And then I'll kind of give a quick um, outline of the week at the end of the question. So only seven today, um, but we'll go pretty quick. I lie says this. Would you rather be a lock to make a non-contending national team as its only star or be a substitute player on a stacked team or a contending national team, but don't get to play. When it comes to Olympics, national pride, I'm going as a sub on a stacked team because if, if my country, like Canada, is winning a gold medal and I don't even play or I'm a, I'm a, or I'm a like, um, healthy scratch, I will still take that gold medal. I will take, still take that gold medal as opposed to being a, a, you know, a star for Team Japan, for instance, and then being the best player but us getting wiped. So I definitely take 
the the substitute on a stack team winning a medal and and as a as a healthy scratch i'm okay with that maestro similar question says this would you rather win three cups as a bottom six player or be a superstar and retire with no cups i'm still going to go with bottom six player three cups although this one's closer than the olympic one because with a superstar but retire with no cups whereas you don't get paid for the olympics i say for nhl if i'm a superstar making seven eight nine ten million dollars a year versus a bottom six guys saying you know one or 1.5 million admittedly that's a big difference that's a massive difference so and you you times that over 10 15 year career you're you could say that you're making 50 to 75 million dollars more as a superstar even if you don't win any cups so that makes it to me a very close 50 50 there is still something though if i'm bought in six that means i'm not a healthy scratch i'm still playing i'm still playing a role and i'm winning three cups so i lean towards the bottom six winning three cups over the superstar with no cups but this one is a little bit closer because of the money factor i must admit great questions i lie in my show i like those kind nick morgan do you have a specific player you think the Canucks should try and trade for i i just didn't want to throw out a name i actually looked up some contract situations rfas ufas canucks need and honestly it comes back to jake debrusque out of the boston bruins he's a left winger he's young he's an rfa doesn't make a lot of money and the fact that he has actually requested a trade because it would be easy for me to say, oh, I want Victor Hedman or I want, uh, you know, Nathan McKinnon. I, obviously, I'm being facetious there. So I wanted to take someone that was realistic. And because of uh, Jake DeBrus' uh, actual uh, request for a trade, granted, that doesn't, that means, uh, you know, the bargaining, who knows what the bargaining power, he kind of hurts his own bargaining power by doing that. But then again, there's going to be 10 or 12 teams that are after him. But I do like what someone like Jake DeBrus could bring to our lineup as a, as a middle six left winger can go 7-eleven it says favorite canucks forward and defenseman of all time well uh, the defenseman is matthias olin i've always liked him and i think him and alex Edler are two best defensemen of all time you didn't ask for this but my, you guys know my favorite goalie is roberto longo my favorite forward of all time matt i liked a lot of what maslin did i liked a lot of what bure did and linden um i like patrick sundstrom when i was a young kid but it might be henrik actually just because of his leadership, his playmaking ability. Um, so I, I think I'm going with Henrik. Henrik Sedin as my favorite forward of all time. Man, Mango Yan Yan, chances of Niels Hoglander on the power play over Pearson. Uh, I don't see it just yet. I think Travis Green really likes Pearson. I vlogged about this a couple of days ago. His ice time has gone up. Uh, that's Pearson. And Pearson goes to the net. Maybe has the best nose for the net among all of our Canucks forwards. I think Hoglander will get there eventually. And maybe Hoglander comes in and not for Pearson, but for someone else. But I, So I don't see the Hoglander over Pearson specifically. But I do see him getting more time as, as he goes. But I do think that Travis Green really likes Tanner Pearson. Beard testosterone. Should the Canucks consider training Pedersen? I say no. I say no for many reasons. He still can be your franchise center. He, yes, he's had a bit of a rough start, but he ha he has been playing better. And technically right now, his value is at his lowest, given his higher contract at 7.35, yet his, his least uh, productivity. So I don't think you consider trading him now because you're trading him at a, a, you know, at a low point where his value is not that high. And I don't think you consider trading him anyways because I think of what he can and will bring to this team going forward. And Crispy Assassin, what where are your favorite seats at the Canucks game? Oh, I love this question. Um, because of tickets where I've been given or I've, I've uh, upgraded or someone's brought me or bought for me or treated me, I've sat in about six or seven different places already in the arena this, this year. And that's not meant to sound like a flex or a show off. I'm just being honest with you. My seats are in 319. I like them. They're in the corner. You can see the whole play developing, but it's a little bit far from my liking. And sometimes you, you have a bozo in front of you who, who's kind of leaning too far up. And remember, in Rogers Arena, in the upper bowl, they have the they have the railings, where people can still lean. Whereas the lower bowl, there's no railings. So, um, I've been down first row as well al along the glass. My favorite is probably eight or ten rows up center ice because then you are still high enough where you're not losing the puck on either side or at either end. Yet you can still appreciate the speed of the game, and you still um, you can still see plays developing. Uh, you're not as high up, but you're still seeing plays develop. So if I had to pick um, 
seats. It would be, I guess, 106 is in the club seats is, is dead center. I guess it's 116 on the other side or something close to that. But anything that's eight to 10 rows up center ice. I've sat there once uh, for a, a game. And it was really, really good. So I'll, I'll take that as my favorite seats. Great question, Chris Assassin. So thanks, I Lion Maestro, Nick, Kango, Mango, Yan Yan, Beard, Testosterone, and Crispy Assassin for your questions. I hope I answered them to your satisfaction. And I thank you for, um, yeah, thanks to all of you overall. It's been really good. I had a, a quick break. I went really light with my content over the past couple of days, but I'm going to go daily starting uh, again as the Canucks um, um, take the ice today. And they're looking, we'll see when their next game is going to be. They're supposed to play in Anaheim on Wednesday night, I believe. And because we know that tomorrow night's game against Seattle in Vancouver has been postponed. So as of now, Canucks are back. Maybe comment down below anything you want to talk, anything you want to talk about. How are you feeling about the Canucks? Did you miss the Canucks? Did you miss me? Whatever you want to talk about in the comments, read it. I mean, type it in. I'll make sure that I do my best to read, react, and reply. Shout out to my legends, legendary Lucas Gates and legendary Andrew Chang. Hero members, Nux fan number 29 and Just Incredible. Hall of Fame members, Jens95, Sim Alexander, Chris Seifert, Adam Moonfield, Shannon Hollingworth, Carol Bovlander, and HSM Fangirl Gaming. Thanks for your support as always. And thanks to the support of all members of all levels. You are listed in my video descriptions. If you want to become a member of the CCC crew, press the join button underneath this or in my videos or on the membership tab on my YouTube channel. Subscribe if you'd like to. Like this video if you'd like to. Become a member or upgrade if you'd like to. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to, even if you're just checking in to say hello. And once again, if you're interested in any of the new programs from Coach Patrick, 75% off for this week only. Check out the links in my video descriptions down below. For this week, I'm not streaming tonight because I'll be out in Surrey with uh, with my brother and his family celebrating our belated Christmas uh, gatherings. But I'll get back to streaming starting this Wednesday night at 10 p.m. And I got Canucks After Dark with Parker tomorrow night at 10. Okay, friends, stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. Have a great day. God bless, and go Canucks go.